This is Banjo, and today I'm going over the hover mode in the autopilot of the Camo 50 for DCS. To enter hover mode, you'll need to lose your speed. The first step is to pitch the aircraft up and trim it to 10 degrees. This will cause the aircraft to start gaining altitude due to the new pitch angle. So compensate by lowering the collective and trying to keep the aircraft from gaining altitude or losing altitude at a speed of more than 3 meters per second. With most of the airspeed dropped, you can enter hover mode by pressing left alt T. The HUD symbology will change, representing the aircraft and its movement from its hover position. With hover mode engaged, the autopilot handles the functions of heading, bank, pitch, and altitude. These can be adjusted by enabling or disabling the appropriate channel, which will allow you to set a new position for the autopilot to hold. By using the right pedal to yaw the aircraft to the right, we can see the autopilot correct and yaw the aircraft back to its original position to the left. We will repeat this by pitching the cyclic forward and we can see the autopilot correct for the new pitch by resetting it back to its hold position. To set a new position for the autopilot to hold, I will disengage autopilot heading hold, yaw the aircraft to the right and re-engage autopilot heading hold, which will adjust the autopilot to hold the new heading. This will work for all the channels. Once you wish to disengage autopilot, do so by pressing left alt T, hover mode will be disengaged, and you're free to resume course. Points to remember about hover mode are that you can't descend faster than 3 meters per second or you'll enter vortex ring state, causing the aircraft to enter a spin towards the ground, and that your airspeed must be no greater than 25 kilometers per hour when you engage hover mode.